iterable, meaning they have a collection of elements that can be looped over, we can write the for loop differently. In this example, the output will be each letter printed out one at a time. And remember that strings can be indexed and are a collection of characters or symbols, which makes them iterable. This for loop will iterate over each character and run the code within the block with that character or symbol. We can also use continue statement. Now that we've seen how a loop works, let's talk about a few important statements that we can use with loops. And one of them is continue statement. Once a continue statement is hit, the current iteration stops and goes back to the top of the loop. So let's see an example. Here the output will result in 0, 1, 2, 4. Because the continue statement is only read when num is equal to the value of 3. Once the statement is hit, it stops the current iteration and goes back to the top of the loop to continue looping on the next iteration. This complete, completely stops the code below continue from being iterated. So it doesn't hit the print statement. We have another statement which is break statement. One of the most important statements we can use in the is the break statement. It allows us to break out a, of a loop and at any point in time. So let's see an example. The output will result in 0, 1, 2 because we broke the loop completely when num was equal to 3. Once a break is read, the loop completely stops and no more code within the loop is run. These are useful for stopping a loop when a condition is met. Here you have to take a note that if you use a double loop, the break statement will only break out of the loop that the statement is within, meaning it will not break out of both loops if the break statement is used within the inner loop. And the last of these three statements is pass. The pass statement is simply just a placeholder so that the program doesn't break. Let's see an example. Here nothing happens, but that's a good thing. If you take the pass statement out completely, the program will break because the, there needs to be some sort of code within the block. It's simply there so that we don't have to write code within the loop just yet. It's useful for framing out a program. Please note that using to do, like here, is general practice for setting a reminder. Now here are some exercises for you. The first one, you have to write a for loop that prints out all numbers from 1 to 100 that are divisible by 3. And the second exercise is you have to ask for user input and write a for loop that will output all the vowels within it. For example, you could type hello and it'll print out just E and O letters.